this is Minecraft Hardcore, I should be dead by now. So I'm stuck on this raft in the middle of the ocean with nothing but a fishing rod. Just nine planks of wood between me and drowning. And the ocean goes on forever. And I'm not much of a swimmer. I need to make some of this. And oh yeah, this is Minecraft Hardcore. Welcome to Avamance Crusoe. Let's see if I survive. Probably not. So here we go, day one, and I'm on this three by three bit of wood. I may not have thought this one through very much, I've got to be honest, because all I've got is this fishing rod. Apparently, what I can do is flick the fishing rod out and try and catch the stuff that's out, except it's too far away, isn't it? Try and catch this stuff, I'm a lousy shot. So I've got the hang of this now, I'm flicking it out, and I'm, no, I haven't got the hang of it, I'm flicking it out and I'm pulling it in, and I catch it, look, see? Look, I've got jungle planks now, I can add that to my inventory. I've got a few things out there, is that a fish? I think there's something floating over there in the water that might be a shipwreck maybe or something that's i don't know full of drowns more likely but i don't know what's actually in this water i know i can get in it look because like i'm off of in it and i can swim around and there's fish and all sorts of stuff and there doesn't seem to be anything too dangerous at the moment apart from drowning obviously but what i've got to do i think is get as much building material as i possibly can i don't feel i can get that Am I just going to have to swim for it? And there is what looks like a tiny little island over there. Now, I thought there weren't any islands on this map, so that's quite exciting. Maybe I can go and dig up some stone, all that kind of stuff from over there. Unless it's a trap, which it probably is. And now there aren't any more. Where's... I need some blocks. Come on, give me some blocks at least, for goodness sake. I know this is hardcore, but I'm going to swim over to that thing behind me. Because, you know, when you're in hardcore mode, you don't take any risks, do you? You just make sure that everything's really, really safe. It's quite a cool reef, though, isn't it? And I was right, look, there are definitely drowns around here. Maybe. Is there? A, there's got to be a chest in here, right? It looks like he's stuck. Are you stuck, mate? Don't worry about me. You just stay there. He's moved. He wasn't stuck at all. It was a lie. He's trying to fool me. I have, however, found a chest. And in it, oh, it's got a load of coal. It's got an axe. It's got some rotten flesh. That's kind of handy. And a fishing rod. Oh, curse of vanishing. I'm not bothered about that. I'm going to ignore the land for now, you know. Oh, I just picked up a barrel. Hang on. Let's come up on top of my thing. Now, I've heard a rumor that barrels have got stuff in. So let's just pop this down. Have we got anything there? What's in there? Yes, there is a load of stuff. So let's... I've got, I've got so much coal already. That's quite good. I'm getting some string, so that's good. If I can get plenty of string, I can get myself a bed. So I'm never going to have to worry about parrots like I do on my Expanding Border series, which, well, frankly, the parrots are a real problem. Whilst I'm waiting for more blocks to rock up, I think I'm just going to have a bit of a fish. I could do with some food. What I have noticed that's quite handy is my fishing rod isn't losing any durability whatsoever, no matter how much I fish with it. So I can get loads of fish, and it's never going to run out. Oh, isn't that pretty with the sun going down? So I just went ahead and fished all the way through the night. And I love this shade of pat. Look at that. That is a fantastic sky. It doesn't bear any real resemblance to the proper sky, obviously. But it's pretty nice, nevertheless. Dawn of day two. And I've not died yet, and that's a result. This is hardcore, after all. And fishing through the night has actually given me some fairly decent stuff. Look, we've got some puffer fish, which is useless to me right now. Some cod. We've got Nautilus Shell. We've actually got an enchanted book. Quite a good one. Punch one, Fire Aspect two, Sweeping Edge three. Uh, that's really handy, isn't it, for a fishing rod? I've got two barrels that I've not even looked at yet that I've dumped in the water for, and a salmon. I'm not kidding you. I feel quite positive right now. Famous last words. So let's have a quick look at what's in these two barrels, if anything. Oh, actually, no, there is stuff. There is stuff. It's all good. I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, we were going to get some saplings, because saplings means I can grow my own trees, but I haven't got one, have I? No, not one. But I can make myself a crafting table and start to get a few extra tools, which is also good if I pop a crafting table down there. So we've got an axe. We've got a spade and we've got a pick. Now, all I need is a few more blocks. Or maybe, just maybe, all I need is another barrel. Right, what's in this one? We've got still no saplings, for goodness sake. Maybe this barrel is going to have a little bit more. I'm not having a lot of barrel luck, although there are quite a few barrels popping up. So eventually, surely, surely, one of them's going to have... I only want one sapling. Just one sapling will get me started. If you put that there, there we go. Still... Oh, 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 oh! Acacia sapling, that's better than nothing, right? And so it starts. So I'm going to make myself a furnace so as I can cook up some of this food. I've got so much coal, I might as well use some of it, right? So if I do, what, eight salmon, that'll do me for now. And then I can also lay down this dirt. We've got stacks of dirt here. Start to plant up some food because I'm going to be getting hungry fairly soon, I can see. Perhaps more wood would be a good idea. Have I got... See, I've got some more jungle planks. I don't really want to use jungle planks, but at the minute... I've not got a lot of choice because it's the jungle planks that I've got. Pop that there. And we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sorted on the potatoes. Pretty soon, we're going to have loads of food. And as soon as we've got eight of these potatoes, I'm going to cook them up. And I should probably make some torches, right? Because if it's 
too dark i'm going to get stuff spawning there okay that torch should be enough to keep me going for now this is progress right keep your eye out people i need one more plank and then i can make myself a bed because i've now got loads and loads of string in fact let's make the wall there's my wall for the bed and now just one more plank come on guys one more i think i might just keep fishing for a bit i've got some more planks and not a moment too soon because look the sun is about to go down so if i get myself back up on here also fishing i've got this what have i got so it's an unbreaking bow that's about to break. It's only got four durability on it. So I'm going to keep that saved for now until I can fix it with a little bit of stickage. Obviously, I need to fix it in an anvil. Otherwise, well, it will just be a bow. And one bed. We are sorted. Parrots, you are not going to be hurting me. Absolutely not. Let's pop that bed right there. I can sleep as soon as that sun goes down. We are away. I don't want to get in the water when it's dark because I'm a little bit scared there's stuff down there. Day three, and I'm hoping we're going to make a little bit more progress on this one. I want more blocks, and they're starting to pop up all around me, which is nice. Why? Oh, hang on. Oh, I, I just got to chop this. I got, I got wood. Hold on. Nobody go anywhere. I just want to get my wood. Please give me more saplings, though. That wasn't what I was about to say at all. That just made me jump. However, what I was about to say is that we've got loads and loads of leaves knocking about. And once I've got enough wood, which I probably have now, I can turn these leaves into bone mills. Right, let's get this composter going. That's like that one composter. We are there. Get these fellas going. Are they actually making much difference? They're a little bit rubbish, aren't they, leaves? You only got like a 30% chance. See, all of those leaves didn't give me a single bit. That's why you get so many leaves. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use leaves as a floor because that'd look rubbish. I've got another barrel here. I wonder what's inside there. Maybe an oak sapling. You never know. Maybe. Let's have a little look. What have we got inside it? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, yes. Oak and spruce. This is an absolute obsidian as well obsidian why on earth would oh there's all sorts of possibilities with obsidian coming later on i reckon but i might need a diamond i'm thinking enchanting the sun is going down so this could be a really really bad idea we're on day three i don't want to die on the evening of day three that would be ridiculous but the island's too close it's too tempting right well there's certainly plenty of sand but what there is which is really handy especially if i want to do that enchanting table is there is some perfect there's some sugar cane so i can get that growing and make some paper if i get this sand i don't think there's going to be any dirt underneath it which is rubbish but i can at least get myself a load of sand that'll be really handy so i've dug the sand until my spade run out and then what i thought i've had a brilliant idea uh, well it's, it's a fairly obvious idea actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out and i'm going to take all of these sea pickles and once i've got the poo cores what i can do is i can light up underneath my raft and if it's lit up underneath, then there should be less chance of stuff spawning, right? So I'm just going to grab a few more pookles. Just woke up to day four and my next acacia tree has just grown up, which is fabulous. So if I just grab all of these logs, because I can make, I'm now going to make a door. And that sounds like a weird thing to make, but I think if I make a door, I've got a theory. I don't know if it works or not, but I'm going to try it anyway. If I can just dig this out like that, they can rot down very nicely thank you but what i can do if i make a door using these take some of those uh i could then also make a trap door i can go down underneath me and dig right and start mining surely that's thing oh wow do you see the rainbow behind me that's an actual rainbow i've not seen that before i reckon i can get myself some more dirt if i go down where's my sea pickles i go down there i've got my dirt i've got my trap door so if i go down directly underneath myself and i put down a door that gives me a nice little air hole, right? And I can breathe and I don't drown and everybody's happy. I can then get my spade. I can dig down with my spade and look down in there. Yeah, that comes down and I can grab a trap door there. That stops that being all horrible. And I can just dig down now, right? So where's my torches? I need to put a torch at the top so as I can see what I'm doing. Well, I found more coal. I don't really need more coal, but I found more coal. I wonder if I'm just going to keep digging. I'm not going to find it. Just dirt. Seriously, how many times do you dig and all you can find is blooming dirt all over the place? And the one time you want to find some dirt, it's not there. I can hear lava bubbling, which wasn't what I was after. Let's just get this gravel as well. Well, I dug until my pick popped and I still didn't get any dirt. So I guess I'm going to have to keep trying this another time. So I've sea pickled up the floor. You can see we've got a little bit of a clear area just around where the raft is, which is quite nice. And I need to make it a lot easier to be able to get down into that mine, I think. 
another pick is required. But for now, it's sleepy time. Day five, and I've started to sort out my barrels. See, that's sort of plants and stuff. This one, however, is rocks and stuff. And this one is wood and stuff. It makes sense to me. At least it's half organized. Come on. I'm planting up that oak sapling. I want loads of oak wood. Oh, look, barrel. Barrel, two barrels. Put, come on, give me some good stuff. I could do with some dirt. Now, the barrel wall is starting to get a little bit tall, but let's, let's kind of hope that we've got something worth having. Uh, well, there's plenty of dirt, which is what I was after. I did ask for dirt. I got that. I've got some other stuff that's still very useful. Some iron. And in this one, more dirt. Okay, we're away. And I've got a dark oak. And also, you know, I've got a way of making sticks. I'm not planting the dark oak yet, but I have planted up the spruce. And I'm going to put in some carrots and some more potatoes. So let's get the carrots going there and there. So we are pretty much midday on day five, and I think I'm gonna try and make it so it's a wee bit easier to get into this. And then I just need to put, what, the trap door there, right? And that stops the water coming in. That's all good. Water stops flowing there. Flap that up, and I can get out dead easy. That's perfect now. See, I've got my perfect little mine shaft. I hate this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig this out. Now, have we got danger? We're all right for the minute. I'm going to pop a, a torch there. We're going to come down and pop a torch just there. And I think at the moment it doesn't look too bad. So I've managed to get myself down to a lava lake. I don't want to don't want to fall into the lava lake. But there's not a lot really around there, unfortunately, to make me very excited. So I'm going to go back. I might come back so that lava could be useful in the future. But I'm going to go back here. And hopefully I've lit it up enough that we're not going to have any problems with mobs. I need an iron pick, which I've got plenty of iron to be able to do. So let's come back and I'll see you at the surface. I think I'm definitely going to have to put stone steps up this. This is making my head hurt. Right, I said I didn't really want to come underwater when it was night time. It's night time of day five. I can't see any nasties around, which is... I don't know if that's luck or judgment or just not the way it works, but I think I think it looks like we might be all right, at least so far. All right, so we can start to expand this platform. I've got to be honest, I'm starting to feel a little bit squeezed on here, and I need to make it bigger. I want to convert it into uh, an oak platform. I've got four spruce there. Now, I could make a giant spruce, but I don't want it. I'm just going to pop that down. Let's put the spruce back in there. This barrel is exciting me greatly. So let's pop the barrel up on the, hang on, I've got to get up on it. Pop the barrel up on top there. What's inside it? Some more carrots, some fish, you know, because I'm surrounded by ocean, I can't fish. We've got a spooky new moon. I'm going to go to sleep and wake up on day six. There's still plenty of wood starting to spawn out and around me. Oh, that looks like another barrel over there. So, and two barrels. Oh, we, we're barrel-tastic. Let me just come and grab this other barrel. I'm going to place the barrels here. We need to restructure this entire raft. That's ridiculous. Look at the state of that. What we got? We've got, again, loads. Of, it loves the cold, doesn't it, this stuff? we got more here. I think something just grew behind me. I can feel it. And on that one, again, loads of coal. Look at the state of the coal. I've got more coal than I can shake a coaly stick at. A little bit more of that. These are quite full, these barrels. A little bit more wood. That's good, though. And, yep, I've got another spruce tree. They can keep growing. I quite like spruce wood. Maybe we do spruce wood and we don't do uh, oak wood. I'm having thoughts now. Let's pop the sticks there and get myself an iron pick, which everybody needs, right? And I've got five left. Should I give myself a hat? We need, hats are good, right? I like hats. Let's have an iron hat. Stick that on my head. See, now a lot of I could take on anything. I'm not scared, not remotely. Except of hunger, I'm going to eat a fish. I've now got seven ingots, which means... I can make myself a pair of iron drawers. And if I put them on, now I really am set to go. Look at that. So we're in day six. I'm thinking about what it is I'm going to do in terms of the shape and size of this raft. I've got a few thoughts whilst I'm collecting this wood. I don't just want to turn it into like sky block in the sea. I want to do something slightly different. What does it look like if I put a slab out on there? I mean, it should just be a waterlogged slab, right? So that's okay. Okay, day seven, and it's time to turn this... I don't know, just floating, don't know what it is, into something that's at least a little bit more, I don't know, buildy, shall we say, a little bit more design worthy. So I'm going to use all of these spruce slabs just to build out a bit of a frame, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a classic 17 wide circle, which has got five at the edge here, and then it comes in and goes uh, three, and then it comes in and it does another three like that and then this one's easy to remember because it just turns the corner does three there 
does another three like that, and then does five, and then you just rinse and repeat. That's Doddle, right? In that with a 17 wide circle. I think that's gonna be plenty big enough. The idea is that this is gonna be the middle, the very center of what I'm building, filled up with glass, and then we'll kind of build out from around it. Eventually this area is gonna get deconstructed because we don't want all of that stuff, right? Oh, two more barrels. I couldn't wait. I just wanna check to see what this looks like with this glass, because I'm not entirely sure it's the right choice, but hopefully it is. Oh, now we're in trouble. I've got jungle saplings as well. And the sun's setting on day seven. I wonder what day eight's gonna bring us. Apart, apparently, from an oak tree, which is handy though. Um, I've come over to the island again because I need more sand. In fact, I need loads more sand, not just for that circle, but probably for future circles. This already looks quite cool when I'm driving up to it in my boat. And it's nothing yet. I can't wait to see if I can get to where I wanna be and what it's gonna look like then, because it could be really, really nice. So it's the morning of day nine and I've managed to get enough glass after a day and a night of digging up sand and smelting it up to have an entire floor. Which means I can start thinking about how I'm gonna add to the design all the way around it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build out in these three directions. Then what I can do, I can dismantle that in a bit and build it out in the fourth direction as well. I'm gonna come out one, two, three, four. It's still day nine and I've got these two farms at the end i'm just going for wood at the minute so i've stuck in four of these spruce saplings which is all i've got i need to get more spruce to trim this off then i can take down this area behind me here re kind of distribute it because i need to make my shelter and yeah i've called it a shelter and not a base because the base is going to come later i do have a plan but it's not going to be much of a plan if these things don't grow i think i'll just fish for a bit well i've somehow managed to get to day 10 without dying don't speak too soon dude you could be in trouble any minute now and a bottle of water because that's handy isn't it i've just made a load of glass and i'm surrounded by water a water bowl is not necessarily treasure so if you've made it here that is brilliant you know the drill like it comment subscribe all that malarkey would you believe it literally just as i said that the tree grew behind me so I'm just going to dig this one out and replant it. It's day 10 and frankly our progress could be a lot better. There's plenty of stuff bobbing up and down in the water though so I need to collect that up. We got two saplings out of one tree so I suppose that means we can at least knock these out and maybe plant them up so we've got a few more trees growing but I'm still really struggling for wood. I could do with another barrel although up there it does look like hang on that's mine it does look like there's another little sapling there that i can plant up that's quite handy and there's a cheeky barrel under my glass with nothing particularly exciting in it so i reckon i'm just going to spend today chopping down trees at the start of day 11 they were coming thick and fast and i was getting a lot more wood and i really needed more dirt to be able to grow more trees and i had more saplings than i could plant there's got to be some dirt down here somewhere surely there's always loads of dirt when you're mining i can get this gold now though i've forgotten about that i've got an iron pick let's get the gold maybe a bit of branch mining will sort me out we're probably a little bit low i might have to try a bit higher up interesting cave can't get anywhere in it, but it's an interesting cave. I'll try digging around at Y4 instead. At least I get a little bit of redstone here with my iron pick. That's quite good. I'm just going to dig this way. Let's see where we go. And that was when I found them. The first shinies. Look at them. I've got three. Is it four? Oh, is it five? That's amazing. Five. That's great. That was worth coming down here just for that. And it was then that I realized if I can get a load of gravel, I can get a load of dirt. I don't have to find the actual dirt. So I started digging gravel like my life depended on it from anywhere that I could find it. When I came back up, I had just over two stacks of gravel and a couple of chests that actually had a little bit of dirt in them, which was quite nice. So if I put two of the dirts that I've got right there and two of the gravels that I've got right there, that's going to give me four coarse dirt. You're thinking, what are you doing, Avermance? What possible good could this do you? But if I do that, and then I lay this out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I turn that dirt. And now I've got 12 blocks of dirt from the six, which means I'm soon going to have two stacks of dirt. And then I can start getting these trees growing and farms going and all that kind of thing. And I need to stop worrying about symmetry, at least just for the moment. So I spent a fair old time converting gravel into coarse dirt and then changing it into dirt and digging it up. Perfect. No symmetry? Who am I trying to kid by day 14 
I had had three of my four sides perfectly symmetrical. Two for crops, one for trees. And on the other side, my little base area, that needs to be converted still. And as much as I love these jungle wood planks, you get I'm kidding, right? I need to replace it up with spruce because, well, the rest of it's spruce, so it has to be spruce. By the middle of day 15, I'd sorted that out as well with all my chests well sorted. I don't know myself, what's going on? I'm actually sorting stuff out in my life. How is that even possible? And by the morning of day 16, I'd actually even labeled them up with some size look ores, geoparticulates like sand and stuff like that in their stone variants, food and plants, spruce, stick and chest wood. Everybody knows what stick and chest wood is, right? Oak, it's all there, even my treasure chest. I feel like I've actually made a proper start to it now, although in terms of my fields and my tree farm, I sort of forgot to put anything in, I better do that. Which left me thinking about how I was going to elevate this up above the surface of the water after I get this potentially useless barrel. Yup, and this one. Yup, and this one, not really. I'm becoming very disillusioned with the barrels. And it was then I realized I was probably gonna spend quite a lot of time just gathering resources now, ready for the next bit. Oh, look, an apple. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to build that edging around the platform. And I think that kind of pattern there would work quite well. There, there, and there. There, 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 and then similarly on this side there, there and there. I'm going to find somewhere to put my boat. I think that's going to be quite important. I'm going to keep building that up and I'm going to keep chopping down wood. And it turned out I was right because on the morning of day 20, I don't seem to have done an awful lot, but I have, I promise. I've got a load of resources in my chest now and I just need to start building. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this stone brick in between here. So kind of a gap, gap, gap there and then there, there, there and there all the way around and just see how that looks and if it looks all right i'm going to do it up higher and i might need to texture that up with some andesite and maybe some cobble i think that's a fairly decent start the walls look pretty good from the inside and actually i reckon they don't look too shabby from the outside either they look quite nice just need to eat this potato there's a useless chest there i might as well grab that right let's see whether or not it's got something really useful i'm hoping that the chests upgrade they haven't upgraded yet and they still not upgraded now. This is just the same stuff I was getting all the rest of the time. Oh well, well, it's better to have it than nothing, I suppose. I love to start with a barrel in the morning. Yeah, it's a bit rubbish though, isn't it? Day 20, how did that happen? This is Minecraft hardcore, I should be dead by now. So I've got the base of the base, which is better than the base of the base of the base, which is the glass. But I wanna build up on top of this at some point. I'm gonna have to keep doing this with the trees. I'm gonna have to keep doing this with the plants. And what I might do is expand out even further. I think I need a bigger base. Because, you know, the bigger the base, the better, right? It really doesn't take long for the sun to go down. It's going to be day 21 in a minute. Sleepy time. So morning of day 21, I'm walking through my fields and I've counted up and my base is currently 37 in diameter. I think I want to expand it out. So job one is to make it up to 63. So I've got to add 26 on each side. One of the reasons I'm putting 26 out to make a 63 wide base is so that I'm always kind of 32 blocks away from the edge when I'm in the middle of my base. That means I can put a mob farm on one of the sides. For those mathematical minds amongst you, you'd have worked out if I put 26 on the end of both of them, that's going to end up as 89 wide circle, not a 63 wide circle plank. But you know what? I'm going with it. So I spent all of day 22 and into the night building out the 89 wide circle that will become the outer edge of my base, at least for now. All the while panicking that lightning would strike my wooden base and burn it right to the ground. Well, right to the ocean anyway, you knew what I meant. Note to self, get yourself some lightning rods, mate. So day 23, and we have got this pretty awesome, I think, circle going all the way around. I think this size base is gonna be brilliant. I've got loads I can do with this now. But what I'd like to do next is maybe build up this little base area in the middle. Eventually, I'm gonna be wanting to live in here with this lovely glass floor. And I reckon I'm gonna put a little moon pool in it now. That way I can get in and out dead easy to the water. If I take out that one block, now this is above the water, you can see it's not actually in the water so i need to do something about that i take out that one that one that one and that one that's a decent start if i step those 
Should be able to get in and out. Let me get my steps. I changed my mind. I'm going for slabs because then that fits the rest of the base and a trap door. I don't like the fact that it flaps upwards, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. But if I go in there, look, I can get in the water dead easy right underneath the middle of my base, get down to the bottom. I might move that entrance a little bit so it's directly under me and then come back up and get out dead easy. Look at that. Perfect. Every diver's dream, that is. And I've been thinking about the top half of this, and I think I need a lot more oak. So I'm going to plant a little bit of oak up first, grow that up, and then I can do it. Stripped oak specifically. I think stripped oak look really good on the top of that. So let's plant up a load more oak trees. So I decided for the rest of the day, 23, and through the night, whilst those trees were growing, I'd do a little bit of fishing. As much for the XP as anything, really. Morning of day 24, and I'm just cutting down the last few trees before I make a start on this thing. I'm putting it off too long. This is just procrastination, Avalanche. Get yourself sorted, man. So I've used some scaffolding out of cobalt, and what I'm going to do, anything that's stone, I'm going to place a block on, and... If it's not stone, I need to put uh, something in there. There's a gap there that I need to sort out. Now, looking at this, I've noticed that I've got this not quite right. I need to take these blocks out and place them in one block. They're like there. Can you see? Otherwise, I'm not going to have a continuous row to be able to put the blocks on. So let me just change that. That was a silly mistake. Can't believe I did that. There we go. That's better. And now what I can do is I can make a continuous row of oak either on the block or on the step all the way around. And then what I can do is I can continue the archway over a little bit just by popping one there and one there. If I come up, one, two, three. Marvellous. Then put a step that way round, step up on it, come up there, drop down, take that out, take out these middle three, take that out and place the step in that way round. Then we've got the archway facing on the outside. Let's get that done all the way around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip these woods maybe i'll leave the bits in the corners i don't know we'll experiment change my mind it definitely looks best all the way around yeah i think that's looking all right so that's all done what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a mezzanine level so just to start with i'm going to place one row of these blocks all the way around i've already put in a way to get up to the top up the ladders and the trap door like that so that's quite nice to be able to do that but then i'm going to make this not sure, maybe three thick, so there's enough room to be able to walk around it. And it also gives me access to these little windows where I can pop some panes of glass in. And I'm gonna place spruce wood planks all along this side here. That kind of gives us access to the windows, but also brings this room in ever so slightly, which is what I'm after. And by day 26, this mezzanine area is looking all right. I've got seating on the sides. You can look out of the windows. This is great. I'm happy with this. I do still need to do a bit of a roof though. And I wonder whether or not a hut style roof using slabs might be a good idea. And I'm going to need more wood again to do that. Maybe jungle wood would work. And bright and early day 27, I had a jungle tree slightly off center, which bothered me in my platform. So we're getting there, right? And by the time night was falling on day 27, it had already grown. Look at all that wood. I better cut it down because it's probably spawnable in some spaces. I've even managed to get some vines. That's quite useful. And I keep nearly falling out the tree because the vines are taking me out beyond it. And I'm, I'm literally, I'm so, I've never been so nervous climbing a tree. It's ridiculous. So that's minus one jungle tree. I've got almost two stacks of jungle logs and I've replaced the saplings, which is always a worry with jungle trees, isn't it? Because they never quite give you the saplings that you want. So now I could do my roof. And I'm thinking, how am I going to do this? I need to get up to the top for a start, right? And then I think I'm going to trim off with some cobblestone slabs all the way around and then start my jungle slab roof off the back of that. So day 28, I was roofing. That's not too bad. I need to put a little bit more detail around the outside, but I can do that next time. Oh, barrel. I know, I still get excited by the barrels. Although I really don't know why, for beetroot, really. Out on this side, I want to build myself another platform, but this one is not going to be made out of wood. It's going to be made out of cobblestone slabs because it needs a little bit more blast protection. I know, I need my head examined, but I want to be able to spawn in some mobs. I want some XP, point one, and I also want to spawn in a zombie villager. Well, actually, 
two zombie villagers. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a lot of stuff to collect before I can do that. You know, I need potion of weakness. I need gold for the golden apples. I need all of that stuff. But apparently what I also need is more cobblestone because I've run out. I cannot believe I've run out of cobblestone. How's that even happened? Running out of cobblestone is depressing. Don't ever be that run out of cobblestone person. I've survived 29 days in Minecraft Hardcore. Come on, at least give me a comment for that. I'm hoping that today we're going to get actually loads done. Oh, I do love that shader pack. Look, I get rid of that. That's in the way. Look, the sun going down, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Complimentary shaders, people. I recommend them. I'm gonna get my head down and day 30, we're cracking on. I think I'm just gonna make a lateral branch mine off the side of not very deep down the steps. All I want is cobble. I'm not really mining for anything else, so it don't matter. I decided it made more sense to go around about Y0 because then maybe, just maybe, I'll trip over some diamonds like I did last time as well. Or some iron. I'll take that as well. And you can never have too much dirt. And look what was behind some of that dirt. See, it's sometimes worth digging in the dirt, people. And when I came up, it was night time of day 31 already. But I'd managed to get myself a load of iron, some diamonds, some lapis, redstone, and definitely plenty of cobble and plenty of dirt. At last, a bit of success. So on the morning of day 32, I managed to finish off this platform. This is gonna be the most dangerous mob farm in the world, I suspect, but we're gonna give it a go. I don't even know if it's gonna work. We need to block this off somehow. I gotta get a little bit more wall, I think, and then some gates in there. This is all about getting a little bit more XP, but mostly a zombie villager. I think that will do it, but we do have the obvious disadvantage of the fact that you can actually squeeze through there, and if I can, I suspect a mob can as well. So I'm gonna put a slab there and there, a slab there and there, and then I wonder whether or not, could a baby zombie get through that? I bet it blooming could, couldn't it? I'm gonna have to put something there as well and there. No, it's still gonna be able to get through there, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with that, I think. The slabs will stop any baby zombies coming through the little gap and the things at the top will stop anything else coming outside. There's three gaps for them to walk through. Not that I want three gaps for them to walk through, but at least I've got the choice then and that can spawn in the mobs. And I wanna make myself a little bit of cover over and that end so when the zombie villager comes out i can cover it over and it doesn't burn in the sun and well you can just sit in a boat until i can cure it which let's face it is going to be ages yet so i'm going to leave this lit up for now think of this as planning ahead my barrel addiction hasn't improved unfortunately and neither is the contents of the barrels either, really. What I wanted to do was to begin the transition from outside here, because I'm gonna to wanna to convert this into something else, to inside here as a proper base. So I'm gonna just barrel myself up along these edges, I reckon, and I'm gonna to start to locate these stuffs over here. This could take a while because if you break the barrels, everything that falls out of them, you can't transport them full of stuff like you can when you tick them out of the water, which I think is really unfair. And it took till the morning of day 36. Yeah, check that out, day 36. But look at this. Look inside, look inside. Look, I've got all of the barrels because I thought I might as well use all the barrels, right? Marked up and organized and stuff. Okay, it's not an auto sorter or anything like that, but look, all the stone crafts are there, stone brick crafts, and a sigh, all that kind of stuff. Mob drops are there, ores and blocks are there. If I come over, we've got spruce wood and all the crafts of spruce wood. I'm really proud of myself and so should you be, but now I've got to actually do something with it, right? So I'm building up that shelter I talked about to stop the zombie villager from burning alive. I'm going to pop it here like that, and then... I wonder if that's long enough. I wonder if that needs to come out one more this way. There, 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 and there. I'll jump down there, get rid of those bits like that, and then obviously I've got to have a pathway that comes around there so the zombie villager can follow me, and I've got to put a boat in there, just like that. And if I can get a zombie villager to follow me this way, then it shouldn't get done by the sun. I'm gonna need to put more there on. I'm going to need to widen that one up. That'll do it. So I need to focus on getting the things I need to be able to cure that zombie villager, which includes gold for a golden apple. Obviously the apples, but I've got that already. And then a potion of weakness. So a spider iron. I don't think I got one of those. And there's the obvious added disadvantage there that I've got to have a blaze rod 
because I need to be able to make myself a brewing stand and for that I need to go to the nether and for that I need some obsidian and I've not got enough yet. Yet I've got a bit of work to do, seriously. So I'm chopping wood whilst I think about it because I think what I'd like is a little bit of fire protection which means I'm going to need an enchanting table as well which means I need to up my XP. Oh my goodness, so many steps and the sun is setting behind me. So morning of day 37, I was fully ironed up. I made myself a diamond pick. I grabbed myself a bucket of water and I went down to go and get everything I needed from under the ground including some lava pool that I could go and get obsidian out of. It just got real didn't it? Now I know there's lava up here because it blocks my way out so if I can dig around it and up then maybe just maybe I can get to the top of it. I don't know where the top of it is. I'm assuming there's a cave. Oh or there's more lava which is the obvious other option. Let's not do that. Let's see if we can get that's bubbling as well. How on earth am I going to get up here? Let's have a go. All right, there's a mine shaft. That's quite nice. I like the fact there's a mine shaft. It's rubbish though, because that means the lava's going to be a little bit rubbish as well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, probably. But there are diamonds, so I'll take the diamonds. Wonder what else is there going to be down here? A little bit more iron. I could do with that as well. That looks more than a single source up there. I think that is going into a proper lava pool, isn't it? Should we have a look? Disappointingly, it is actually a single source. That's no good, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that off because we don't want that happening. And I'll put a torch there just to remind me that that's rubbish. I'm going to come back around. I was trying to go around it. I thought I was being really clever, but apparently not. So I'm just going to have a bit of an experience floor because I'm hoping there could be some decent loot maybe. I wanted to come round and check because I knocked off that lava. It's no longer in existence and yet that lava is still there. So that's a different lava which means I can still come around and it's about what 20 odd blocks beyond it in this direction. So if I go 20 odd blocks in that direction Surely that means I'll find the lava pool, right? That just seems logical to me. Well, I found it and it's still above that level. So I'm just going to block that off, which means it's above this level somehow. So if I keep going upwards, I wonder how far up this is. Well, it was more of a blob than a pool, but I lob my water bucket on it and it's given me some obsidian. Hopefully it will be enough for what I need to do. I need my enchanting table and I obviously also need to be able to get myself another pool. Of course it's got lava underneath that as well. So that's given me 16 obsidian but what I'd really like is a few more diamonds so I'm going to go and mine for them down around one and see what we get. It's day 38. Why not was giving me absolutely nothing whatsoever so I came all the way down to Y minus 58. If nothing else I can build stuff out of deep slate right? And by the time I got back up again it was day 39. And I want to build another platform out on the Isam. But unbelievably, the sun was already going down. So I'm going to bed instead. It's the morning of day 40. And I need to get this little platform, the same size as the one over there built up. Platform done, storm coming in, need to get a few blocks. Because what I want to do is build a nether portal. I'm sure you're not surprised by that, given that I've just collected a load of obsidian. And I'm going to build it ever so slightly larger than we would normally do it. So let me just, I'm going to pop gravel in there because that's a nice cheap block. I'm going to come up. One, two, three, and I'm going to pop stone brick in the corner and we'll make it up like that. I'm also going to try and fancy this up just a little bit with a few various blocks. So it's not just a plain old nether portal because that'd be a little bit boring. I don't really want to do boring. So I'm just trying to put some other little bits and pieces on it just to try and make it look a little bit less, I don't know, rectangular. And that's kind of what I was going for. So if I just add another couple of little bits in, perhaps that'll bring it around. I think that looks all right. And then I can light that up and we can go nethering. And seeing as it was nearly morning, I thought I'd have a little bit of fishing going on. I'm still very worried where I'm going to get all of this leather. Fishing seems the only source of it right now, but I'm not entirely certain I'm going to get enough to do an entire enchanting setup. And yes, I know I can kill hoglins, which is why I've got that thing over my shoulder. And there was time for one last barrel. Dare I ask what's inside this puppy? Um... Not a lot, frankly. It's the start of day 42, and I've got a few things to do before I go through that portal that's over my right shoulder. I need to get just a little bit more protection from fire, and I need to make sure that I'm wearing something gold, amongst other things. The redstone on this is incredible. Okay, so there's no redstone, but you know what I mean? It's gonna be amazing, I'm gonna get loads of mobs. Okay, I don't actually want loads of mobs. I just want a zombie villager. In fact, two, 
Two would be amazing. Do you ever get the feeling that you're feeling just a little bit too optimistic? Anyway, let's crack on with this. It's all Barrel and another one. Oh, I do love a Barrel, me. I do have an appointment with Barrels Anonymous, but right now I'm enjoying the addiction. Sadly, the addiction does not appear to be enjoying me very much. You know, I'll take you though. I've got some fairly stretching objective over the next few days. Copper feel of these. I want to make a shield and some gold boots. I then want to go through to the nether. And in the nether, I want to farm hoglins for their leather because I don't think I'm going to get leather from anything else apart from hours of fishing and no one wants to watch that. I'm then going to come back and make an enchanting station so I can get fire resistance on my armour. I then want to go back to the nether, get some blaze rods and some nether wart and some soul sand, then come back again, make a potion station, grow the nether wart on the raft, make two weakness potions, two golden apples and then farm mobs in my mob farm until I get two zombie villagers and cure them. Yes, I know, those of you that know me might think I'm being a little optimistic, but check this out. I've already done objective one, gold boots and a shield. I'm there lot. Except that means I need to go through to the nether now, which I'm a little bit scared about. So I think I might chop some trees down just to make myself feel better. Day 43 and there was no putting this off anymore. I needed to go through to the nether because I really need that leather. I am right in thinking that you're only going to get leather from cows, horses, which there's nothing of around there, fishing, which takes forever, or hoglins. If there's any other way, please do tell me in the comments because I think I'm going mad. I'm lighting it up. That's one stage further. I'm a little bit scared now. I'm going to get myself my stone sword. I am wearing my gold boots. I've also got a few gold ingots, should I wish to trade. And this is it. I'm actually going through. I've got no idea what the nether looks like in this mod pack, but I guess we're about to find out. I'm assuming it's not just one big lava lake. No, it is not just one big lava lake. And that's quite optimistic there with that hanging down, which means I've got potentially hoglins quite close. But it looks like I'm going to need to dig through. I've got a diamond pickaxe and an iron pick, so I can do a bit of digging. I'll take a little bit of this nether out first because I think what I'm going to need to do is bridge across to where that crimson is grab all those bits and pop these down and then get myself across there. I'm going to get all of this as well. So I've come across this opening just to see if there's anything around it. looks like I've got a little bit of gold, which I'll take a lot more quartz, which I'll have as well. But I'm just going to follow it through and see if there's anything else, because I really, really want to find the hoglins, which isn't something I normally say, because normally hoglins are just dangerous. But for now, it's my best hope against some of this fire resistance. Except sadly, it led nowhere. I did find a piglin, so I thought, I'm gonna lob a little bit of gold at you just to see what you're gonna do. Are you gonna trade with me? I'd love it if you did. I'd be really interested to know what it is you think that piece of gold is worth, because some of you have got absolutely no clue about bartering. I think you're not too bad. In fact, I'm gonna keep bartering with you. You could be worth it. With four bits of gold, I got five soul sand, two obsidian, five never bricks, and eight never racks. I think I got done. Never trust a pig when gold is on the line. I came back to the portal to try and get through there and I found a couple of hoglins. In fact, I found three hoglins and they'd like a piece of me, but they can't have a piece of me because I'm up on a thing because I'm scared of them, which is silly because it looks like they can't get up. Come back here, let me kill you. I want your skin. Right, it turns out that even if I'm on that post over there, they can still hit me because I've been hitting this guy. Oh, now he's walking away from me. Been hitting this, they're just out of my reach now. They know, they know, they can stay out of my reach. But no, he came back and I, I hit him and he hit me back. Ha, I got you. There's leather down there. So what I want to do is I want to just jump down there and then hit these guys. I don't know what you're doing, mate. Seriously, that just didn't right. So I killed all three of them through being a coward. I'm not quite sure how they got here. I wonder if there's a hole because they don't normally spawn in this area, do they? But they have left me very kindly two pieces of leather, which is quite good. I'm gonna to have to kill quite a lot of these, aren't I? So I started to dig up through the rock, hoping that I didn't hit any lava, because if I did, I was probably gonna get into quite a lot of trouble. I'm trying to do it as much of a distance as I can, so as I don't die, but there's got to be Crimson Forest the other side, which means there has to be some hoglins in my near future, right? And look what I found. Literally by mistake, that's not a bad shell. Everybody loves a little bit of ancient debris, right? I wasn't expecting that. And I came out in a little soul sand valley cave, which isn't funny because there's literally no way out of this cave. It's completely enclosed. And it seems everything I'm doing right now feels completely enclosed. And I'm starting to get quite sad about my enclosure. I feel quite trapped. But I am going to collect a few resources because, you know, it's soul stuffs. And I was starting to get a little despondent because I dug forever. I'm, look, I'm right up at, what, y equals 90, and I'm not that close to where the portal is. And I have eventually come out, look, 
in an area that looks like it's promising. This is a crimson forest, which is exactly what I was looking for. I can hear the piggies. I can't see the piggies, which is the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about. Where are the piggies? Are they right? There's piggies up there. They're around here somewhere. Right. I think I'm going to need to go and start harvesting some pigs. I like it when they group together because it makes it easier for me. But that means they can also hit me as well like that. And they proper it you are, didn't they? Come here, you. Yeah, no, I don't want to mess. And also had the piglins doing my work for me. So I employed the patented shield hit, shield hit, shield hit technique. Which means I didn't take any damage, but my shield really did. But at least it eventually killed the hoglin. Absolutely works. And after about three days of hoglin farming, getting something like 40 pieces of leather, something disastrous happened. As I was coming back through the nether portal to my raft in the overworld, the game explosively and irreversibly crashed. And no matter what I did, I could not get it back. Apparently, it's really common with this mod pack when the nether gets involved. So there was only one thing I could do, and that was to get back on a three by three block raft. That's right. We're starting again, but this time it's a little bit different because this time I've turned off all the extra mods like shaders and also replay mod to try and take some of the weight off. And I've turned off the nether. And as a result, I've got in here some blaze rods, four soul sand and one piece of nether wall. Other than that, I'm on my own and I better start fishing for these blocks again. But it's good to know that some things don't change because that, my friends, is a barrel. So we are on day one again, but we're an advantage because we're practiced at this. I'm going to put barrels around my platform this time so I can store stuff. And I'm going to start building it up with more jungle planks like this. So while I'm waiting for more barrels to come up, or even other blocks, but you know me, I prefer barrels. I'm going to do a bit of fishing. So what do I get in these barrels? I've got some dirt. I've got a carrot. That's great. We've got a good start. And we've got some spruce. Right, let's get planting. And by the end of day one, I had three barrels, a crafting table. I'd planted all my trees, and I'd got some plants growing. I reckon we're making a much better start. Oh, there's another barrel. Make that four barrels and a load of more stuff as well, including already a bed, which was amazing. So I spent the night fishing and gathering resources out of the sea. And by the morning of day two, I was starting to get a decent stash of stuff. However, I'm not gonna make the mistake I made last time. I'm gonna spend the first few days getting a load of blocks so as I've got something to build with, including from the ocean bed and underneath it. But it's a really good way to get sand, especially seeing as my trees weren't really growing very quick at the moment. And I hit absolute payload for iron, which is brilliant because I'm going to need this. And by the morning of day four, I'd made myself a little mine entrance that took me down into the depths on both directions. But what I'd forgotten was that I'd loaded this up in 1.16.4, which is the original version to try and avoid future crashes. And of course, 1.16 is a lot different. For example, Bedrock starts at Y5 and there isn't any deep slate, which is fine. I just need to remember to mine at Y11 if I want some diamonds. Oh, those were the days. And I'd also got enough iron to craft myself full iron tools and full iron armor. So I'm going to do that because now I look fancy and almost certainly not cautious enough as well. And just towards the end of day four, whilst I was mining, I found a mine shaft. Now, I don't know if this is the same mine shaft that was in it before it crashed, but obviously all the world generates differently in 116.4. So it's not necessarily the same one. So I'm just going to have a quick look, which is probably daft. But you know what? What do I know? Yeah, by the look of it, it's the same one. If you remember, those diamonds generated their last time as well. So that's cool. Some of the generation is the same. I'll have the diamonds, though. These are my first diamonds. First of many, I hope. And by the morning of day... F oh, the tree just grew on me. I would put that in the bloopers, but you know what? I'll leave it in the real video. And by the morning of day five... It's like you've heard me say that before, isn't it? I had made an even better start than I had in the first world when it crashed. So I'm really quite pleased. Maybe that game crash was meant to happen. I just feel that this is going to be a better run and I can design the base even better than I was going to last time. And what better way to start the day than with a barrel? What we got? We've got a little bit of dirt, some cobble, some beetroot, because, you know, everybody needs that and some string. It's, the barrels don't really get very good, do they? I don't know why I'm addicted to them. They're rubbish. The objective of today is to get more resources, whether that's under the ground or up here. I need lots of wood. I need lots of stone. I'm going to make this base look good. I also need quite a lot of sand if I'm going to do what I want to do, which isn't the same as last time. So I'm just going to crack on with that. 
the morning of day six and I've made a boat because I've realized last time there were islands. This time there's not. There's still that same thing over there. We'll go over there. But when we went over there last time, there were loads of islands we could see as well. I can't see a single island on this version. Maybe that's because we're loading it in in 1.16.4 this time, the way it was meant to be. I'm over at the ruin and there is still not a single island in sight. I'm fairly convinced now that this is not going to be something that I'm going to be able to do. Last time I could make landfall. This time I've got absolutely no chance of doing that whatsoever. But there was a chest in here. Let's see if I can find it. I flattened it out this time because I didn't want it sticking up. And I've opened the chest and it looks like it's got very similar contents to last time. Loads of coal. Let's just get that coal out. Uh, a little bit of rotten flesh. And this. And if memory serves me correctly, this can have curse of unbinding on it. Yes, I'll curse of vanishing. You know what? You can keep it because not a lot of good to me. So it seems that there is not going to be any islands whatsoever. There's my little raft over there. There's nothing. It really is an endless ocean this time, which I think is quite cool. It does, however, mean that if I'm going to get sand, I need to dig it off of the ocean floor. So let's crack on. And by the time night fell, I had about three and a half stacks of sand, which was enough for what I wanted to do for now. Just having a quick row over this massive reef that's in the other direction to where I just was. There is literally nothing to be seen. If I go too far, I'm going to lose my little raft over there. Look, I can't even see any other ocean ruins at the moment, although that might be one over there. Oh, there's a ship though. That looks like a ship. And it was a ship, so I looted it to within an inch of its life. All three chests emptied out. I got iron, I got gold, I got paper. But what was really good is I got some books. I haven't got land, so no cows for leather. I haven't got the nether, so no hoglins for leather. All I've got is fishing. I need leather for books so I can make enchanting, so that was a result. Plus, what I think I might do over time is come and just literally take this thing apart. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that back so as I can see it from above the water. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Brilliant. Have I got any torches? Yeah. Stick a torch on it, mate. It's the morning of day seven and I'm cooking up some glass because I've got some use for this. We need to do a little bit of a replan. This spruce ring around the base is going to stay, although we're going to make it a little bit more ringy and a little bit less diamondy. And in the middle, we're going to make it glass. You knew it was coming, come on. Which means we're going to have to move all of this stuff. Which, given that I've got my storage in the barrels, isn't going to be a quick job. So I started the job of taking it apart. And by the middle of the day on day nine, I'd pretty much finished the very, very basic bits of this. I'd even already had some crops growing because I did them in rows. And when they're in rows, they grow quicker. So I'll have more baked potatoes than I know what to do with pretty soon. Now, the next thing I want to do is turn these bits round into a circle. So the whole thing is a disc with this row here being the outer edge of that disc. It's day 11 and I've finished this primary platform right now. You see, I've got some glass sections going around here on the quadrants. I've got my little farm there. I've got my tree farm going. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm gonna put on here, so it's dirt. And then I've got my little house bit here. What I need to do is start building up a little bit of structure. And for that, I need a little bit more wood. I've got some, unfortunately, the trees are growing. And by the time the sun had gone down on day 11, I'd done everything that I wanted to do in the short term. I'd labelled up some of these barrels so I actually knew what was in them. These are all empty and I'm going to do something with them later on. And I'm starting to think I'm going to make this entire circle the inside of my base and anything outside will be, well, outside. So what I need is a lot of stone. So it's time to go mining. I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going down into the mine. And obviously I'm going to take all the ores I can find as I'm going. So I'm making some side tunnels at Y11 so I can branch mine with the best chance of getting diamonds because we're in 116.4. And towards the end of day 15, I'd managed to stir up all six roots out of my farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and got plenty of resources. Although only two more diamonds, which is rubbish. So on morning 16, I started the job of placing the stone blocks all the way around the outside of my base. I was going to use stone brick, cobblestone, normal stone, and andesite. And by the morning of day 18, the border around the main part of my base was starting to get there. Too high in a mixed palette. I quite like the gradient on that. And it's edged out with some spruce. I need to make it a little bit higher and obviously get a roof on it. This bit's going to be covered up, which means the tree farm and maybe the crop farm won't be inside. Which means the dirt is probably going to have to come up and get moved. I should have planned better. 
And on the morning of day 19, I'd finished the floor. I'd taken out all of that dirt because I decided, you know, I just didn't want it in there. And I've extended these four piers that are going to go out to other areas. Know what some of them are going to be? Don't know what others of them are going to be. We'll see. So keep watching, otherwise you'll never know. But until I'm ready to do that, I just need to keep on farming my wood because I'm going to need plenty more. So I'm doing a classic oak tree farm here with gaps and torches, all that kind of thing. And a little bit of a lid on top to stop getting those big trees, which are much harder to farm. And on this side, I've just planted up four spruces and that way I can get a giant spruce and get loads of wood. Once I'm resourced up, I can start really building this base. I'm going to need more stone. I'm going to need more wood. I'm probably going to need a load of more other stuff as well. And I do want to go out for a bit of an explore to see if I can find any more shipwrecks and therefore any more books. Otherwise, I have got a lot of fishing in my future for the leather. But to get a bit of a jump on that, I am going to fish this night away rather than sleep. Maybe I'll get a couple of bits of leather to start me off. And we'll wake up on the morning of day 20. And as the sun rises on day 20, I had a pretty rubbish time, frankly, fishing. I got three tropical fish, one puffer fish, two raw salmon, seven raw cod, a stick, a tripwire hook, a bone, and a curse of vanishing enchanted book. Although I can obviously grindstone that book and I've got a brand new book, which is a good thing. What'd be really good is if I could get a fishing rod with lure on it when I'm fishing, cause sometimes you do pick those up. And if you've got that, that is an absolute bargain. Now I want to make some different types of stone, so rather than mess around, I'm just going to make myself a stone cutter quickly because I think that's probably the quickest way of doing it. I'll bang it on there and then in there I could be able to make myself some stone brick and more specifically some chiselled stone. And for day 22 I was making up a load of stone so as I can make up a load of stone bricks and chiselled stone bricks. And I've got another barrel to fuel my barrel addiction and it's... Yeah, it's still quite average. By day 23, I had just about enough of what I needed. I've placed a few stone brick blocks inside of these blocks here, because this is gonna be the start of where we're gonna be building up. I'm gonna go one and two, and then I'm gonna place one of those. I'm gonna go one and two and three, and place one of those. I'm gonna go one, two and three, and place one of those. However, I am now quite high. I'm a little bit worried. If I do, where's my bucket? I'm not very good at these, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna gamble. I'm just going to... There you go. I did it that time. That was quite impressive. Look at me all clever. But what I am going to do is I'm going to build a ladder up to the top. And then I'm going to go as high as I can with these blocks. And I'm getting a little bit nervous going up and down it now because it's quite a long way up and I don't want to die. And up here, I'm going to build myself a platform that I can build off of. So there's the start of the platform. But now what I've got to do is I've got to build up these legs all the way up on all of these sides. And this, unsurprisingly, is taking an awful lot longer than I thought it would because each of these pillars, I've got to build it up and then I've got to go back down the ladder and build the next one. But, you know, we're getting there slowly. And by the morning of day 25, I'd managed to finish off this part of the structure, only this part of the structure, mind, but it looks all right. I've also done a little bit more at the top because I don't trust myself from falling off of it. That is certain death for that long drop. I'm not kidding you. And I very nearly did it twice. Now, what I want to do is build a platform in the middle here. So right where this torch is, which is the very center of the platform, I'm just going to pop a little block there so I know exactly where I am because I need to build a drop chute that is 22 blocks tall. But unfortunately, I need even more cobble so I can smelt it up and make more stone bricks because I've run out. so started the grueling task of towering it up this is 10 high i've got another what 12 to go after this and i really don't want to fall down the inside because that would be bad and now i'm at the top i can build these out i need to come out nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight and nine I'm going to do that on all four of these directions. I'm going to run out of stone again. This is terrible. And just as I was coming for some more cobblestone, oh, hang on, there's water there. Let me get rid of that water. Let's pop that. I opened up another part of possibly the same mine shaft. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to light it up and I'm going to have a bit of an explore. I thought I'd come down just to have a little look, see if there was anything worth battering. So I'm just, but I still can't work out where the grumbling is coming from. So I'm just going to fill up that hole. Because this is just this is just another rubbish little thing as well. There's got to be something worth having around here somewhere, surely. I'm just going to dig around a bit. Well, I found one of them, so I'm going to hit him a lot. And I'm assuming they're all behind this wall, all the growlings. So is there any more? 
Yeah, there is. Let's just keep on bashing. So I got more stone, turned it into more stone bricks, and now I'm up on day 27. So I've got most of this tray bit done. All the trap doors are now laid out. So I'm gonna open up the trap doors. Now I've left myself my escape route just over there. You can see that I've got to work out. I'm gonna get down that as well, because I'm not entirely certain. I'm gonna pop these all down. I've got them three wide. Now, normally you'd only do these two wide, but I do them three wide because then I've got a three by three hole in the middle here that the water flows over. And that means spiders do fall down rather than climb back up again. You've got a fighting chance of actually getting some spiders in your mob farm which is always a good thing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a water bucket there a water bucket there I'm going to refill both my buckets from the middle because that is an infinite water source and do that on all four sides and obviously I've run out of stone again I've got to go and get some more what is it they say about failing to plan and of course I found a little bit more of the mine shaft because that was inevitable wasn't it as I was digging around this bit's quite, oops, bad spoiler. I do really good down there just yet. Let me just put that light on. I don't want that to start generating spids. That would be bad for me right now. I'm not ready for that. I'll come back though, because that could be handy later. And somehow I've managed to release a skeleton into my tunnel, which is not something I wanted to do. I am ironed up, but I don't want to leave him there because he'll just come and bash me. So I'm just going to have a go at him. I'm going to hide here. And when he comes around the corner, I'm going to hit him a lot and he can't hit me as much as he wants to. Then I get some extra bones, and I have to go and work out where the dark is now. The dark must be over here, look. Is that, could that be the dark? I reckon that's it. I reckon that was the only spot. The whole spot there was that, for goodness sake. And after what feels like an eternity on the morning of day 30, I start putting the lid on this thing. I didn't think I was ever gonna get there. And you know what's gonna happen, don't you? It's not gonna boom and work. We'll test it in a minute. And actually, this is the night time of day 31, because guess what? I ran out of stone again. I probably didn't count. And I still ran out of stone, but I decided to make a pretty pattern in the back of me because I figured that, that little bit of light would stop spawning on top of here and it won't stop spawning inside the farm. So what I gotta do is I gotta get my boot I'm going to pop my boat down here, that will do, and then I can jump in my boat and just bash myself off into wherever it is I land. I'm not going to hurt myself. Oh, and I actually fell into the water, so that's quite handy. And then up there, oh look, oh, that's not what anybody wants to see, definitely not. Um, right, let's see if we can tempt it into the water, because how did that get there? That's worrying. How did that happen there? Well, it's worried me enough to want to get rid of this. I do love those large trees though. Look at how much spruce I got out of it. That's amazing. Plus, I managed to strip one by mistake. So I'll probably have to strip spruce now, won't I? Actually, I don't mind. I quite like strip spruce. But now it's the moment of truth. I'm just going to dump off this stuff here. And I want to pop up and just see whether or not we're getting any mobs. Because we might not even get any. If we're not getting any, I'm very, very sad. But we might not get any until I've been up here a little bit because there might be mobs under the ground that are now not going to be spawn because I was down at the bottom. I have no idea if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, I need you to tell me in the comments why this is not working because theoretically it should be working. I really, really hope it works, but at the minute it's not working. Now I know that this does work passively and as a result of it working passively, I have to wait for mobs to actually walk across those trap doors, but they will and should find their way around there. So if I hang around for a little bit, we might get a few mobs popping along. I'm a little bit worried what the problem is, is I'm not far enough from the ground for any mobs. Oh, there we go. I knew it was going to work. I knew it. Oi, fella. Look. Don't. Yeah, just, just bash there. Of course, what I can't now do is get the drops. And not getting the drops is kind of pointless. So if I grab that, there we go. So there are mobs spawning up there. That is working theoretically, but it's not exactly flowing them down is it i don't want to go too close because if i go too close what's going to happen is the creepers are going to explode the bloody thing aren't they oh look the spiders are there though spiders can still climb up that's rubbish i can see this is going to be slow and steady wins the race however what i was really hoping was that it would fly them in so as i could at some point get a zombie villager but i think 
I'm probably just gonna get stuff really, really slow. So in the comments, how can I make it go quicker? If it's slow for the rest of this series, it's your fault. I've not got time to mess about with that anymore. I've got proper building to do. It's day 32 for goodness sake. And I'm gonna start by extending out these piers another little bit because I want to build an extra circle around the outside, but I don't want it to be 45 around. I want it to be a bit bigger, which means taking out the tree platforms, at least for now. By the morning of day 33, I was ready to build my 57 wide circle. And for now, I'd better make sure that I line it up as well, otherwise we're gonna end up with mobs on it again. I don't want that. By the middle of the day on day 36, I'd managed to build out a platform with loads of space on it. And I incorporated some of this oak to give a different sort of color, because to be honest, all of that brown just looks a little bit too flat. But now I've got to stop it from being just a platform. I need to make it into something. So I think I'm gonna get some farms out here. And obviously for that, I needed more stone. I love banging through this stone. I should probably do a real big stone session. And on day 39, I've very nearly finished up these farms. I'm trimming it around with waterlogged stairs not because I necessarily want waterlogged stairs but I actually quite like the way the color is offset against the stone and the dirt and those boards as well that looks quite cool I'm gonna plant them up and by day 40 I had tree farms I had wood farms I had food farms I had more tree farms I was quite pleased with the way this was turning out I'm gonna head on back up to the mob farm because I'm gonna put some hoppers in there I just realized I've got loads of iron I might as well make it collect the stuff automatically right so I've got a load of hoppers there now and if I kill that that should collect it up very nicely and into my chest they go brilliant it might be slow but at least now I can bash them without having to collect the stuff out the middle and I decided to go for more stone and I ended up coming down to Y11 this was my mistake I'd been mining for all my stone at about Y20 I have no idea why I'd done that I'm an idiot but now as a result I'm gonna get some more diamonds because frankly I'm bored of being in iron and having my first iron pick really really makes me feel a whole lot better about myself and now I feel a little bit more diamonded look at those leggings and boots I feel so much better about myself I'm gonna start building these walls up one more high so as I can bring a ceiling across and then start the second floor and I reckon up and down by this ladder should work all the way up to the top and seeing as it's day 42 already I really need to get a wriggle on and I've started building up the second floor here and I'm gonna strip a load of this spruce wood of course what this means is I'm gonna need a load more spruce wood but for the time being I'm just gonna strip this first layer and I can start to detail the bottom layer get all of this flooring because I think I need to enclose myself and start to build up this structure so this structure kind of gets consumed so what we've got is the mob farm kind of on the roof I found another barrel let's have a look I'm really excited You'd have thought by now, really, I would have learned to live with a disappointment, wouldn't you? Because that's even more rubbish than the last one. I am gonna wean myself off of this addiction, I'm telling you. I'm gonna need so much wood for this, it's ridiculous. Hopefully I've got enough now, because you never know how many slabs you're gonna use for this. For some reason, it always seems like you don't need as many as you actually do. I'm getting through stacks and stacks of them. This is looking all right. It's protected from me falling down. I made it a mezzanine because I nearly ran out of slabs, but I can get down dead easy up and down this ladder like that. Back to my underside. Got to make sure this is properly lit up. I think it probably is. I don't want anything spawning down here, but I think I can now start to think about moving this stuff because it's in the way, developing this out so it's got better storage, and then developing a sleeping area up at the top and I know it's never good to do sleeping up at the top but come on I need a little bit of room at the bottom don't I so this should be perfect and I can make this living I can build up all around this wall here and then I can do another floor above this as well which is going to mean a whole lot more choppy downy tree stuff and this one will be the first so I spent the next few days gathering resources mostly wood collecting barrels for what they're worth now, and reorganizing the entire storage system of the base so I can keep more blocks. I also made an auto smelter section along one wall so I could try and speed up that process too. 
And before I knew it, I was at day 50. So we are halfway through this 100 day challenge and I think it's not too bad so far. I've managed to get myself a nice living area at the top. This wall is starting to grow. The trees are also starting to grow. Down here, I've managed to organize things quite nicely, I think. I've got some automatic smelting. Yeah, I grant you I've got to put the fuel in manually, but everything else runs through on its own, so I can just put a load of fuel in it. I've got everything labeled up. It is looking pretty smart. And I've also got plenty of resources to be able to build the next stage of the base. And even though we've started to get this area sorted out, it's nowhere near where I want it to be. And on day 50, I'd want my cobblestone levels to be way better than this. So I'm gonna go and get some now. This could take a couple of days. Let's get digging. And by the morning of day 53, I'd come up for the second time with loads of cobblestone, a fair amount of dirt, lots of iron, plus some other ores. I also managed to get eight diamonds. So that's the stony bit dealt with, at least for now. I do need a load more wood though. So I'm coming up to the mob farm so as I can get just a few more bones to turn into bone meal and just speed up my tree production because I reckon what I need is a lot more spruce. This is what I'm after. Loads of lovely skeletons. I really wish I'd made this further up in the air because I've got to be honest with you, I've probably got mobs down in the bottom that are stopping the mobs up there from spawning, which means I'm not getting as many as I could. Now, I've got myself a zombie villager, which I really don't want to kill. I want to somehow trap him. So I'm not going to let him die at the minute. I'm going to hit his mates. And I'm going to let him just sit there for as long as possible. Because I want to get him in a boat. Because then he won't despawn. But then I also want to stop him from burning up in the sun. So I've got some ideas. I need a boat. Where's the first off? I've got a boat. I haven't even got a boat. How are you meant to trap stuff without a boat? Come on, fella. Now, here's the trick. I've got to go down and make sure he doesn't despawn, which is very, very possibly going to happen. Right, I've got the boat. I've got some slabs to cover up an area so I don't kill him. What's the chance? Oh, no, I can hear him. I can hear him. It's all right. He's still there. Right, th this is exciting now. This is a good thing. Trouble is, I've got loads of glass there that I need to replace. Blimey neck, I need to go and get some glass now. Right, I've got my glassy steel there. I'm just going to kill the skelly because now I need to set this up. I've got to think about this. So get yourself these there. You want them as... Oh, how do you want them? Hang on, think about this. This is terrible design, but you know what? We'll go with it because I can fit under there without any problems and so can the zombie villager. So if I get rid of that and I come... Well, don't you even think about it, creeps. I get rid of you. Then I put my boat down put my boat down there and what I need to do is I need to get this for this could go over your own couldn't it get this guy out get this guy out and then I want you to come and get me right so there and there he's gonna come and get me or he's gonna try at least and kill you zombie fella come here no I need to wait until I, I don't want anybody else around come on for blooming next sake come on come on get this guy here get this guy dead he can die. Right, you need to come this way. I don't want anybody else to come out. So you come to me. Come and get me. You come down. You come around this way. Get in my boat. There you go. Now you're in my boat. I'm going to get my glass. And I'm going to very quickly fix that there and there. There you go. And that is now zombie villager or sorted that I can try and cure. Except now I need another one, obviously. But in the meantime, I've got myself a few bones. I'm going to pop one back there. Oh, no, there's another. Come here. Wait, skelly fella. Come here. That's it. Did you drop a bone? Did you echoes like? Right, so I'm going to grab that XP and then I can come down and I can start growing up some more trees for the wood that I actually went up there for in the first place. Barrel, 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 barrel. Get under there. Get your barrel. It's. I know there's not going to be anything in it. I'm don't know why I bother. I genuinely don't know why I bother. But, you know, I get very excited about barrels. Where's the barrel? Where's the barrel? Come on. What is in there? What have you got inside for me, fella? What's in there? That's utterly disappointing. You really would have thought that I knew by now, right? Oh, there's another one. Doesn't matter if I know or not. Look, there's another one there. I'm going to come and get that as well. Get in the water. Get your other barrel. You know you're excited by it. Grab it out. Swim back. Get in the hole without drowning. That's always... I'm actually gambling my life on a barrel get out the water get out look you're nearly dead there you go up you get sit next to that barrel and that is uh well equally disappointing frankly but we'll collect up all the bits and bung them in my nice storage area look because it's all sorted out look i don't even know who i am anymore look it's all sorted it's fabulous it's wonderful this is going to be amazing when i've finished right let's get myself sprucing get rid of that 
and then spruce that up. There we go, we like that, and we're just gonna dig this puppy out. And by the morning of day 55, I had quite a lot of spruce ready to do some building with, because I really wanna finish off this wall and this level, so as I can put a roof on and then put some detail in to incorporate that mob farming. I've got some ideas which I'm not entirely sure are gonna work, but it's worth a shot. So let's crack on and finish off this wall, which involves an absolute boatload of this spruce wood, which is great, and then I can pop that up on here and create a bit more of extra wall. So come here, get that off there, and then bung that there and strip it so as it fits the rest. Let's carry on. This bit is gonna be glass, so I'm gonna leave that as a gap. That bit's gotta come off, so I put my wood there and then strip that, here we go. And if I put the wood in my left hand with the ax in my right hand, I can right click there, right click there, and away we go, leave that gap again, otherwise I'm gonna get that in there. I'm gonna bang, right, right, and here. Bang, right, right. Ha, this is getting quick. I think that works out quite well, actually. It's not a lot of detail on it yet, but there will be. And I'm hoping that this could be where all the villagers live. Assuming, of course, I do get another villager out of that thing up at the top, because one villager's not gonna be enough, is it? I've also decided I'm gonna start to build up myself just this little farm here. I got this in the bonus chest right at the beginning, if you remember, because I'm not gonna be able to go to the nether anymore. And that, is perfect. It's the morning of day 56 and I'm going back up to the mob farm to see whether or not I can get myself another zombie villager. I'm not optimistic, I'm not going to lie to you, this could actually be a complete hide into nothing, I'm never going to get any. But I do have the one that's up there already, where's he gone? There he is, you can see my little mate in his boat here. And if I stick out a second boat, then I'll be able to capture a second zombie villager. So if I pop that there, there's a second boat, I'm going to need to build that out a little bit more I think. Let's kill you because you don't belong there. If I can get another one, then I can cure him, which is probably gonna need, I'm gonna need a witch as well, because I've not got any mushrooms, which means I can't make any potions of weakness, which is a bad thing. So I'm gonna have to do it by using a witch, lobbing a potion of weakness at them, and then me curing them. Although obviously they do spawn down in caves, so maybe I'll do a little bit of caving if I can't get the witch thing to work. Although I am still gonna need the sugar from the witch, so there's still witches involved. Gotta be honest, there's nothing nicer than killing an empty monster in the morning. You are never gonna believe what has rocked up in my farm. Look at him, he's a thing of beauty. Please don't get in the way. I don't wanna hit you. You need to stay well away from me, Mr. Zombie Villager. I don't want you to die. I'm just desperately trying to kill off the other stuff and hopefully I don't hit you at the same time. Right, so zombie villager there. I've just realized I've not got, hang on, I'm a little bit overly excited. If I, hang on, hang on, if I chop that up, pick that up again and pop that down there, I'm gonna need to go and get, don't die. Right, you don't die. I've gotta go and get some glass and stuff, hang on. So I need to get that glass out and that glass out, then Mr. Zombie Villager can come and get me, come on. Come on, fella, come this way. You go in that boat. Oh, come on, please don't, please don't, nobody die, nobody die, especially me. Put that there, that there, that there. Now I've got two zombie villagers. Oh my goodness, I might actually get to the point where I can do stuff. This is bonkers. Okay, you two stay there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and see if I can find some mushrooms in some caves. Have I got any spider eyes? No, I need to go and kill some spiders as well. I'm getting overexcited now. It's not often summit actually works. So on the morning of day 57, I went back down underneath again. So as I could try and find some caves. I want spiders this time, specifically spiders and caves for mushrooms as well. And I figured the best place to come was probably at least to start with down here in this mine shaft, which is still quite dark in a few places. I just got jumped on by a skeleton from up there, which means that there's still stuff there that I've not investigated. So if I come up here, you can see all that darkness being all scary and everything. Let's see if we can find somewhere. Oh, there's a chest there. Sometimes mushrooms come in chests, right? That looks like a dungeon to me. That's a spider dungeon, which could be really, really useful. I'm gonna pop that there. And there's no mushrooms there, but there is other stuff, right? So what I need to do is I need to light the place up. Right, so that's a spider spawner. Where's my things? Let's pop that there. You can come out and I'm hitting you with a... Don't hit you with a fishing rod, that's rubbish. Right, okay, I got spider eye. That's very useful. Let's pop that there, that there. I'm gonna put a light on that side and a light on that side. Oh, okay, so we championed this fella. So what have I got inside here? I've got... Mm, nothing that was really after, although I've got some melon seeds. I've not had them before, I'll have those. 
Get a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I'm going to pop. Let's get rid of some of those. We don't want that in there because I can take that. I don't need horse armor because I ain't got a horse. I'm never likely to have a horse in here. I've got, oh, beetroot seeds because they're really useful. Not. I don't need a saddle. Well, I was hoping for a mushroom, but I didn't get one. But what I did get was a spider eye, which is a really good start. So I'm just going to leave that lit up for now. And I can come back to that. I might take out this lapis just because I can. Because that would be useful. Because uh, if I start to do enchanting, which I'm hoping to do with a bit of luck once I've got some more books, that's brilliant. So what else have we got around there? Let's find out. Let's pop a torch there. Let's make stuff light. That's fine. I'm going to come down this way. I'm going to light the place up. I'm going to get some more gold as well. This is going all right so far. Just blocking off that lava because I know I'm probably going to fall in it, which would be bad. Have I have I really found all of it? No. No, okay. There's some more over here. I didn't think I had. Yeah, now you die. Right, so that's all dirt. I can't see any mushrooms though. That's rubbish. I was really open because these big old open dirt bits often have the mushrooms, but this one hasn't at all. So there's no mushrooms anywhere. Oh, please let it be some mushrooms somewhere. I really don't want to rely on witches. Witches are a pain. Witches are unreliable. Witches probably are going to kill me. What might help with all this lighting up, however, is the fact that it is going to possibly improve my mob farm up at the top. Because if this is all lit up, there aren't going to be any mobs spawning down here. And as a result, there'll possibly be more mobs spawning upstairs. Well, I found a my cart with chest. It's got a golden apple in it, which is always lovely. What am I going to take out of that? I don't know. I've got wheat there, but wheat's not a lot of good to me. I'm not sure what I'm going to lose. Lose the rotten flesh, have a match. You don't need that. I don't know what gives me the feeling, but I think there might be a zombie spawning nearby somewhere because all of a sudden all of these zombies just batted out in front of me. They can't get me because that really useful rail there. But I am worried that down there there might be some kind of spawner. So I'm just like that up. I've got another diamond there, which is nice as well. Another chest. Still no mushrooms, but I do get a few more diamonds, which is nice. Some torches, some coal's always good. This is where I wish I had a backpack as well. Well, I've explored this for quite a little while. It's now day 59. I think I'm going to go and bash a few more spiders, see if I can get some more spider eyes. This may or may not be a good idea. I'm not entirely certain. By the morning of day 60, I managed to get myself at least five or six spider eyes, which is probably more than that I need. And I'm going to plant up some pumpkins, one, two, three, and four. And around the other side, I'm also going to do some melons. But I think I'm pretty much giving up on trying to find a mushroom underground, which means I've got to get a witch upstairs, which means that I need two golden apples ready for when that happens. I already got one from that chest and I'm cooking up a little bit more gold. I can't remember which one it's in. Is it in this one? Yeah, and I can do that from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go and get another apple and we'll be good to go. Obviously, these guys need to be quite close to each other. If I get in the boat with you, are you just going to hit me? You are, aren't you? But it's all right. I've got quite a lot of armor on, so it's not so bad. So if I get you close together like that and then get out, I only lose three hearts. So a witch could chuck some and get both of you at the same time. Just got to eat some it. Hang on. So now I've just got to sort myself out a witch. Oh, and did you see that? Just as I say that, it falls out of the sky as if to give me my wish. Now, what I need to do is I need to get another boat for you now, don't I? I went to get me boat and the witch has despawned. It's turned into a skeleton. I'm pretty sure but they want the same thing. I don't know. Witches don't turn into skeletons, right? So I've placed my boat down ready. So if I can get the witch into that boat and then come around the other side, I need to be fairly close. And they can, like potion of weakness me from here hopefully get the zombie villagers at the same time i can then do the witch in the boat because i won't need them anymore feed them these golden apples and wait and in the meantime i'm just going to bash mobs also noticed i've got some bows in here if i combine these bows up i'll actually get myself a half decent bow i think let's just pop that there and that there that gives me that. Put that together there and there. And that gives me an almost completely durability bow. That's quite nice. And I've got a load of arrows as well. So that's brilliant. Right, well, I've got the witch out. But unfortunately, the witch is really good at chucking stuff at me. And I've just managed to really get myself a bit of a problem. I've got to eat quickly. Because they're going to keep lobbing stuff at me, which is not good. So I'm just going to... I think I'm going to have to come down here. This is... I'm going to end up dying if I'm not careful. Blimey, get yourself some food in there. Get yourself completely cured. That witch is going to do you. Get yourself down. Get yourself down. Don't die. I know you're not going to die because it's only going to be a half a heart. But you've got to get that out. And now I've got a hole. I've got a blooming great big hole in my mob farm. And that is not something that we want. Right. Here goes nothing. I'm expecting there to be a boatload of mobs. 
about to try and kill me here. I've got to be honest, I'm really a little bit worried. No, no! <laughs> no, that's not how you die. You fall off a ladder. What? No, that's stupid. You stupid, stupid man. And so that was it. Look at it. That's just bits of me flying all over the place. Why can't I get to 100 days, for goodness sake? Look, if I come up here, I was going to be in proper trouble. Creeper there. Skelly's there. Boat's full of stuff. Look, look they're right old mates, these people here, though. And that witch, you. You're the one that caused the problem. First time it was an Enderman. This time it's you with the wart on your nose. And it was going so well. But that, as they say, is that. One raft block, completely fluffed. Got to day 61. 61! I was so close to the 100. What a wally. And that was out the raft block finished. Falling off a ladder. What a plank. Really enjoyed that one. Might do that one again, but I've got something else coming really soon. So slap that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on it. And who knows, I might actually make it to 100 days this time. But until then, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that kind of malarkey that makes big difference to the channel and doesn't cost you anything. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.